Okay, so today we need to have a serious conversation about AI generated music, specifically with regards to Drake. Why? Because Drake AI music has exploded in the last month and we need to figure out what this means for the music industry and how this is all going to shake out in the future. So first of all, I'm sure all of you have heard of the most recent AI Drake song, um, Heart on My Sleeve. It's a super popular song. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard it, we're going to review it right now, in fact. Getting Justin Bieber, the fever ain't left. Yeah. Hey, hey, I love this song. Hard on my sleeve, and it. Ah, 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 ah. Now, here's an important distinction. This is one of many, 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 many Drake AI songs, and of course, other artists who have also been rendered in AI. But again, let's talk about how this even works in the first place. So you have to understand that a lot of these songs are actually people voicing, right, their voice in a microphone. And there's actually a program that changes their voice into their preferred voice. So whether it be Drake or The Weeknd. So here's where legally this all gets really weird, right? Because legally speaking, that is the original artist's song, right? The guy or lady who wrote the song, they put their voice into a microphone and those are their written words, right? But what gets weird is that the voice is not theirs. It's somebody else who has a big name or has a reputation. So as we go further into this video, we're going to talk about the legal ramifications and how AI music is going to change the landscape of entertainment as a whole. But right now, that's only one song. So like I said, this is probably the most popular song you guys have heard of, but there are many more. So like, let's explore them right now. Okay, this one is called Winter's Cold. It's so good, man. Winter's cold out from, yeah, I got enemies. Okay, the winter's cold out from, they try enemy. I swear the winter's cold out from, they try to send us me. Okay, the winter's cold out from, we had them ten and key. I swear that pussy tone on us. I got it on my own. Mm. Oh my God, bro. Bro, these are so good. It's hard, man. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a good song. I mean, that's the part that makes this whole AI debacle so difficult. This is an excellent song. And earlier I talked about how a lot of these artists are using their voice into a program that changes their vocals into Drake or into somebody else. Here's another aspect of this argument that makes it very difficult. This beat belongs to the artist that made the song. This is not an original Drake production. Right, this it's not like somebody else produced this beat. To my knowledge, this is something that um, uh, what however you pronounce this name, that's how they made it. Now let's look at the reception. I'm curious on how the how the comments are looking. Now, mind you, this video has 1.7 million views on uh, YouTube in two weeks. Okay, so obviously they're playing off of the whole AI Drake phase. Uh, and going below, you can actually see people talking about how Drake is going through YouTube for his next album. I mean, imagine that, right? Legally speaking, what does that look like? Could Drake, right, actually go find these songs and pay the artist who made the song for the rights to the song? Because the only thing the artist uses is an imitation of Drake's voice, but not Drake's actual vocals. Nothing that Drake has ever said, nothing that Drake has ever put on a track, nothing that his record label has ever licensed. This is technically brand new content. Comment below, tell me what you think, because this argument, I mean, this entire conversation is so brand new. Never in my, you know, close to 30 years of life did I ever think I would have to have a conversation about whether or not it's legal to use an artist's rendering of a voice and whether or not it should be licensed and paid for. You know, this is crazy. So there's some more people in the comments. One of my friends on TikTok, him and I are cool. Uh, Josh said, been playing this on heavy repeat. And that's another conversation. There are people who are spinning these tracks, right? But Drake doesn't get paid for it. This is, this is an interesting conversation. So as you keep scrolling down, there are more and more Drake songs. And honestly, this search and rescue song is interesting. So this search and rescue song showed up uh, a few weeks ago. Here's what's cool. Drake actually 
released this song. The record label released this song. What's weird is that people thought Drake's real song that he actually released was an AI Drake song. So there's a point now where people can't even tell if Drake is actually posting these songs or if it's an AI doing it for him. Here's what gets crazier. If Drake literally were to have put this song out and it was an AI song, legally, what are the ramifications? Would he have to pay the person who originally made it? If it's his voice, does he technically have full access to it? There's so many questions. Let, let's listen to Search and Rescue. Not listen. I don't want to listen to it because it's going to be copywritten. But let's look at the comments of Search and Rescue. Okay, so look at these comments. This is mind-blowing. Okay, this is my point. Somebody said, Drake AI finally dropped something official. Think about that. Think about what these people are saying. Drake could legally take someone's AI rendering of his voice on their beat and he could pay for it if he wanted to and then release it legally. Okay, so let's listen to this one. This is this. I, I remember this when I first listened to it on, on Instagram and I was impressed. So let's see. Yeah. AI Drake doesn't miss. When I'm in the six, I get a right back. Chubby stay with me, he grabbing that Mac. I'm off at your twenties when I hit the studio. Forty on forty, you know it's a slap. I'm fucking that bitch and I hit from the that, but I hit from the side. I'm gripping her hair, I'm gripping the thighs. I fuck with the body, she fuck with my mind. It's too many times. Too many what? Too many times. Too many times. Too many times. Right back to me, Shawty look perfect. She straight from the factory, ain't the same level. So please, do not rap to me. That was an excellent song made by somebody else. But someone asked the important questions here on Instagram. They said. Does AI have the N-word pass? Does it? Does a computer have the N-word pass? But more importantly, the person who fed their voice into the microphone, which fed into the, you know, program, is that person white or black or of another ethnicity? See, we don't even know. There's so many questions to be asked, and there's one more uh, song we should listen to right now. So let's go listen to that real quick. In retro right on the know the fuck that it is but check us out back 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 it up retro gray like mercury mm. dance in a apple bottom jeans but they out of season if you text me oh my god give me something to believe in play this they gon' say that hey hey come on bro come on Oh my god. If Drake were to find this song and properly license this song, this would be a literal hit. A lot of these AI songs would be legitimate hits. If Drake were to license these, pay pay the artist or whatever happens next, which we'll get into on how that should work or what I think it'll look like. And this could work. This could actually work, but there might be a downside. So let's look at everything as a whole. Okay, so we have now gone to the age of artificial intelligence replicating the sound of our favorite artists, okay? What that means is that there are plenty of talented musicians and artists who are now taking their beats that they created, okay? So let's keep all of this in mind. An artist creates the beat. They own the beat. They wrote the lyrics. That artist owns the lyrics. Okay, follow me here. That artist has every right to those lyrics and that beat. The only thing that is not theirs is the sound of the voice that is in the microphone and being processed into your ears. And that sound happens to be Drake's voice a version of Drake's voice. Now, this is important because legally, legally, you are not allowed to use somebody's copyrighted material in your works and get paid for it. But technically speaking, Drake's voice is not copywritten. His voice is not copywritten. So how can Drake and, you know, his record label leverage any type of legal standings 
against all of this. If his voice is not licensed, like his actual vocal cord patterns, none of this has any legal standing. There's nothing here, no law that says you can't use someone's likeness of a voice, right? So for example, right? Would, would, would Obama be mad if I started to speak right now into this microphone and I were to monetize this video and uh, I start sounding like Obama? You understand? Uh, America, we have to think clearly about what we're talking about, okay? If, if I'm not allowed to sound like Obama, Barack Obama, then we have to start thinking about our laws differently, okay? Because quite frankly, I am not doing a perfect uh, Barack Obama, right? And honestly, that song you just heard was not a perfect Drake and none of those songs were a perfect Drake. And if that's the case, then can uh, a record label sue you uh, for using a bad imitation or a notice, noticeable imitation, imitation of Drake's voice. That's the question. I'm back to my voice now. I know. That was a really good Obama impression. But that's the point I'm making here. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Does Should the original artist of the song still get paid? There's three options here. These are There, there are three options that I'm going to tie all this together with. Option number one. The artist and Drake get paid 50-50, okay? Listen to what I'm saying. If the artist agrees to having their song licensed by the record label that Drake is a part of, then they can have the song released. Their beat, their production, their lyrics are all paid for, and that will be, you know, legally binding, and they have the rights to that song with that regard. But Drake, because his voice was used, because the likeness of his voice was used, Drake also has a cut of the song that was made. That's option number one. Option number two is that the artist gets paid nothing and none of these songs ever get licensed. And if the record label ever hears it, that song is gone and they have the right to sue the person who made it. If that is possible and if they could do that, that would mean that vocal cords have to be licensed. That would mean there's some type of law out there that has to be written in, in the court of music law where you can't use a likeness of someone's voice without licensing and agreements and contracts, right? Option number three is Drake, without us knowing, goes through back channels to contact these artists, pays them to make AI music whenever he doesn't feel like making music himself, and... He pays extra money to have the vocals cleaned up a little bit, make it sound just right, so that when he does release it, nobody knows whether or not it's AI or if it's actually Drake, which is a benefit to Drake ultimately because that's less work he has to do in the end. Those are the three options. I really don't see how else this could pan out. Now, remember, we are just talking about Drake. This is going to expand into every single musician Every single artist, my own voice, my own voice could be used in a program and somebody could make a video voicing with, with my vocal cords and say something unsavory. That is possible. At the end of the day, we need to figure out what's going to happen now because music is about to change forever. This, we, you, this video you're watching, okay, is, I want you to think of it as like the red line between the past and the future. Because this is it. This is it. Okay? Music will never be the same. You will never know if that artist really made that song. You will never know if that artist really wrote those lyrics. You will never know if a producer really produced that or was that somebody else. You'll never know. The entire song you're listening to from your favorite artist could be 100% artificially intelligent created and you'll never know. Are these songs eligible for Grammys? Are these songs eligible for American Music Awards? Uh, it's, there's so many questions. There's so many questions. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. I'm sure you can see my, my uh, exhausted look because I've been thinking about this for so long. What does this look like? Comment below. Tell me what you think. How does this look? Where will we go? What's going to happen now to music? Will this affect music? 
Or will it not? Do you think this is all just for nothing? It's one big hoopla and everyone's tripping over it for no reason? Or do niggas really have something to worry about going into the future as they're trying to be rappers? Could their op, instead of finding them on the street and shooting them, could their op just make a song with their voice where they're saying all types of unsavory, racist, and sexist, and transphobic things and release it? Think about what I'm saying. There's so, oh my God, this is scary. This is scary. Okay, anyway, I gotta go put some ice on my head. I'm tired and uh, I'm thinking too much about this. Tell me what you think in the comments.